What's up guys, so welcome to a new video. My name is Frank and I react to my own music. Today I'm here for my second reaction to Fate Gear and their song The Sky Pirates, which is a very fitting uh, title for a song, I think, especially from them, because they do look like some kind of uh, steampunk pirates, you know what I mean? <laughs> like their costumes and their like whole general team of the band is very steampunky like and I really really loved the first song uh, that I heard from them. I, I was quite surprised in fact uh, of, of the voice of the singer. Uh, her voice is very very cool and she's got a gnarly scream. I really I really really love it and um, Musically, musically wise, they reminded me of a very kind of modernized, uh, uh, steampunkerized, and Japanese uh, uh, style uh, melodic death metal. And I really, really like melodic death metal, so it's totally fine for me. I really, really dig it. And yeah, I'm, I'm very, very eager uh, to see what they have more, you know, what the other songs uh, sound like. Uh, by the way, I think um, here they have uh, Jill uh, from Alaki Morpheus as a guest. Um, you know, the super good uh, violinist from Alaki Morpheus. I think she's... Uh, I don't know much about violin uh, playing, but I think she's incredible. Like, wow, she sounds amazing and I can see she's very technical and very proficient when she plays. I think she... She's very, very gifted as a violin player. Yeah, 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 for sure. And definitely very easy on the eyes too. <laughs> but yeah, guys, before I start this reaction, please consider subscribing to the channel because I'm trying reaching 1,000 subscribers. So it would help me a lot if you subscribe. Uh, give me a like and a comment. If you have more suggestions for me, we definitely start now. Sky Pirates. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, violin already from the start. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Already sounding kind of a metal sea shanty, you know what I mean? Very cool. <clears throat> Ooh, and English too. Now the, the bass here. Dum da 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 dum da 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 dum da 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 dum. Wait, I noticed that uh, Jill here is doing a kind of an interesting thing. She's just uh, plucking the violin chords with her finger and makes a kind of you know, uh, kind of the sound similar sound that. An electric electric guitar uh, makes when you pinch the chords on the bridge, like ting ting ting, very me me metallic, bright sound. Very cool. Love it. I absolutely had no idea you could do this to a violin <laughs> with a violin. So epic. Love the rhythm here. Oh, right off the bat, I gotta say that I really, really like this song. This definitely has got a very different vibe um, from Living Blood. Uh, that I heard was the, which was very aggressive, very uh, death metal, melodic death metal like. This one is more like, I would say, uh, rhythmic wise, uh, gothic metal like, with a, a side of uh, metalcore. And uh, definitely the violin and the um, keys add a very folky, folky vibe to it. So I would say this is like, folk uh, folk death metal maybe something like that but very melodic very slow you know what i mean 
and definitely still love the the singer voice i don't think that uh, she's gonna scream in the song other or unless the song gets um a bump in speed and heaviness but i still really really lo uh, love their her, her clean voice as a side note her english pronunciation is very very good for sure <laughs> for sure I, I bet that she can actually speak English very well, I can tell by her, her voice. <laughs> you know, she doesn't have that typical uh, Japanese, Japanglish accent to her voice. I don't think she does at all. Let's keep going. Man, that keyboard looks so cool with the skulls and all the aging on it, wow! Why you in solo? Wow, so cool, kid, dude, so cool, kid. Oh, we have an accordion too here in the background, nice. Oh, it's a keyboard with an accordion effect on it. Very cool, super fitting. Ooh, such a cool solo already. With a bugle in the background, wow. And the cool bending. Wow, man, that guitar looks so cool too. I was reaching to Japanese, nice. English again. Particularly, really, really enjoyed the rhythmic uh, session in the song. Very, very cool. They look super cute and badass at the same time. Like it. Bon voyage. Love the chorus. Wow. Wow. Such a cool song, dude. Loved it. Loved it. Really, really, really loved it. Wow. Zooming on the cyberpunk gun and the... Nice. Cool, man. Wow. Is this like uh, a new uh, music genre? Like uh, pirate metal? Oh, sorry, it's not. Because I know, I know a few other bands that basically only do this kind of, you know, Hailstorm, I think, and all that stuff. Yeah. I know a couple of... Uh, metal bands that basically do only this kind of a we'll say melodic death metal with a very piratesque um, folk vibe to it you know what I mean and definitely the addition of Jill and the song made the song amazing like the song was already amazing with all those like uh, chorus in the background the cool rhythmic the good cool, cool drumming as well of course uh, cool singing, let the switch between Japanese and English, and a very epic feel to it. But I feel like Jill was like cherry on top for it, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely enjoyed this song. And man, if all these songs from, from this band are this kind of quality, I gotta say that they are they're gonna be definitely on top there, one of my favorites, for sure, for sure on par with the Namofilal of Bites and all those kind of bands. 
Wow. <laughs> I'm very surprised because not many people um, told me about them on the channel. Just only a couple, which is making me guess they are not as popular uh, as the other, you know, metal bands that uh, you guys suggest me in, under on the comments. And kind of wonder why. Maybe because they are a little bit heavier. So of course, as a metalhead, I love them, but uh, I, I can see that if a person that don't like metal at all, maybe only listen to pop uh, or, or rock, pop rock, that kind of stuff, maybe he's not gonna love them because they are a little bit heavier and faster and more aggressive, but man, for me, 10 out of 10, man, they're ready. <laughs> I really, really like them. Wow. I'm gonna definitely listen to more from them and dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it a lot. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you have more suggestions for me, please uh, write them under the comment here. Consider subscribing to the channel because I'm trying reaching 1,000 subscribers as soon as I can. So please help me on that. I would really appreciate it. And leave me a like. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely see each other in the next one. Rock on.